Andy House would like to introduce the story, Ghost of the Woman, based on the true Vietnamese story. Chapter 2, The Next Meeting. That day, Kang spent the morning contacting the landlady, but couldn't. She turned off the phone. Children and relatives do not know where she went after receiving Kang's money. He tiredly turned off the phone. He recalled her unusually happy face when Kang agreed to buy a house. He decided to visit around the neighborhood, just to get to know his neighbors, and asked about the house he was staying at. Now he realized the house was separated from the other houses in the neighborhood partly because the garden is larger than other houses in the village. People in this area are also quite friendly. They are all poor workers who have been here for a long time. When they knew he was from another place, they were all very happy. Only, when he heard him say he was in that house, they became weird. Everyone looked scared in the eyes. After a while of asking nothing but the house that had been abandoned for a long time, he bought some food and returned home. The first thing he did was open the locked room door. Only a few blows of the hammer are released. There was nothing but an old tile and a broken table and chair in the room. Inside there is a big, rotten, old chest. Suddenly there was a sound. He looked up. On the ceiling, a big black cat raised its bright eyes to look at him. Suddenly he heard someone calling in front of the house. The sound of girls. Clear and smooth. Kang came out to the porch. In the afternoon sun, it is clear through the roof, through the green ivy cords. The silk shirt is gently embraced close to the fragile body of women. Long, sleek, black hair, hanging down to round shoulders. Highlighted with white skin, the girl looked up at Kang, her eyes wide and black. He was bewildered. Unexpectedly, in this lonely place, there is such a beautiful beauty. It was like that in the city that he had just left crowded. But he had never seen anyone as beautiful as this girl. Seeing him staring, the shy girl bowed her head. Her red lips, smiling slightly, added her charming look. Kang embarrassed. You are. I'm the one here. The girl stroked her hair. Her pale blue fingers. I see someone new. So I greet you. She looked at his hammering hand. Are you busy? No, I'm not busy. I'm done. Suddenly he became stammered. Let's, let's come inside. The girl gently walked up the porch sat in the chair Kang hurriedly brought out. Then he sat down in confusion. I just arrived yesterday so the house is very busy. If you just sit here temporarily and talk, don't mind. You're so polite. It's all right. My name is Duyan. Your name is Kang, right? Kang was surprised. Why do you know my name? Gentle girl. You just call me, do you? I hear people call your name, so I know. Oh, oh, do you seem to know many people here? I know, I'm the one here. So do you know the previous owner of this house? I heard it was a long time no one was here. That's right, long time no one dares to be here. Nobody dares, why? Because the... The girl suddenly bowed her head. The fear that he met from morning till now. Suddenly she spoke softly. Softly like a breeze. Cold and dry. Because there are ghosts. Suddenly the sound of the window slamming behind him made Kang jump. The girl looked up. Kang suddenly felt scary. It is those eyes. Her voice remained unmoved. In the past, here in this house, there was a girl who was killed. No one knows how she died. It happened on a rainy night. 
people could not find her body, just saw there. The girl slowly pointed her hand into the house. There is a lot of blood under the floor. Kang saw sweat begin to flow on his face. The girl's eyes stared at him. Her soul is still not escaped, so she still lurks somewhere. Since then, no one dared to enter here, because at night they often saw a girl's shadow and strange noises. <coughs> the sound of the cat screaming at the resentment. Kang looked terrified. He stared at the girl in front of him. In the afternoon, she looked pale and pale like a corpse approaching him. The girl burst into laughter. Kang was surprised. She was teasing him. But his heart was still beating. Du Yun smiled and raised her hand and wiped the sweat from his forehead lightly. Kang held her hand. And strange, her hand was cold. Wen sent her to the alley. The girl bent down. Interrupting a wild flower. He looked at her. Realized that there was a calmness in his heart. That night, Kang went to bed early, but still like last night. He kept lying on and on. The unexpected meeting with the girl in the scary story kept haunting his mind. Her gentle beauty did not stop Kang from dreaming. Duyan is the life that pushed him to meet her also charming. By the middle of the night, the air was so hot that Ken got up. He lit the cigarette and opened the window. Suddenly he listened. The hair on the neck stood up because of the sound. This time you heard it very clear. It was the sound of nails scratching the wood. That sound echoed in the late night, but very close to Kang. On the other side of the room, the fear didn't win the curiosity. Kang came to open the door. Strangely, the room filled with cold wind hit his face. Stunned, he saw the lid of the chest burst open. He moved closer and looked inside. Suddenly, a black shadow rushed over him. Kang darkened his face. He fell to the floor. Again, the black cat looked at him with its blue eyes. Running towards the door, he looked at the shadow and then suddenly, at the door, in the dim light, a silhouette of a hairless girl appeared. A flash of light flashed, showing the girl's face white. That is Duyan.